Hello friends, this is Jatin Ambasna and I'll show you how to connect your PC with the smart board and share your screen from your laptop. You can see there are multiple options available here and this is Windows 10 that is a requirement for you to connect and this particular option over here, sorry for that, this particular option over here, specifically the connect option, we have to select it. Once you select it, you will see there will be multiple things that are available to you. Let's select this Samsung Flip. Okay, you have selected it and you, are, you can see it is connecting and now the smart board is connected to the screen. Now let's see how to use that particular smart board effectively. So yes, what I will do is I will scroll it. I'll resize it so now you can see I can resize my screen and whatever I do over here whatever I operations I do on my screen are visible on this particular screen what I will do is I'll put select one particular file I'll also open a code from here and yes there is one more option you can select the size of the window that you want so let's make it full size now if I want to explain a code and along with that I also want to give output to my students. What I will do is I will first show my code into rule number one, one first page, second page, second code, maybe in the third page output will, will be there. So let's start with that. So you see this is the first page where I am showing you the code and this is the first code. Let's see whether I am able to write over it. No, I am not able to write over it. So what I will have to do is, I will have to invoke this particular thing. It will lock it. It will make a note. And you can see this. Now I am able to write it. Or annotate over it. This is a form. And from here, I will be sending two parameters to the page called para. And the method that I am sending over here is get. So see this is one example that I use in the advanced Java subject in 6th semester of GTU. And uh, so this was one page. Okay, let's go to another page. So for that what I will do is I will close this and it will ask me to save it. So I will save it out. Okay, now it has been captured. Okay, and now let's see what I can do with it. I can move it okay and I can merge it with over here itself so it has been merged into the page one now what I'll do is I'll go to second page one more page I'll go over here okay let's go over there and over there if I'm able to use the option of uh, screen sharing let's see where is it So let me see whether it is again connected or not. Let's again connect it. You can see now again it has been connected. And now again I have been connected to the PC. And from here I will go to second code. Okay. What I will do is I will make a new node layer. This is a new node layer and from here I can see different, I can highlight different part of my code. Then what I will do is, I will save it, okay, then still I am in this particular page, so what I will do is, I will scroll, let's scroll to a new page, okay, let's take this part to the new page, let's scroll from here to here, and over here, I will use this 
desktop and here I can show you maybe the output or maybe another image let me show you the image and this is the particular image that I will use ok now let's do one thing now again let's start with the note layer and here what I will do is I will highlight this as functioning of program ok and then I will save it save it again what I will do is take one more one more page in that I'll show the output of this particular code so I know to run this particular code it will take some time you can pause the video You can see this is running right now and uh, once it runs I what I will do is I will capture the output and put it into the last page of my scroll. So a whole scroll has been made where I have explained some code, different files and then in the end there is an output also and this whole thing has been shared from my laptop. So let's wait for it. Let's see whether it is running or not and once it runs what it will do is we will capture the output from here okay so welcome back and now i'll show you how to record the output so this is another program where i am running it once i run this program and you will be able to see the output over here and you can see this is the page so what I do is let me take it as a first page of my output so for doing that I have to again use the note layer and this is save it and again I will make a new page for different output now again using the PC screen I will say go and this gives me some error or some other page so what I will do is I will save it again I will have to use what I will have to use the note player Yes, that was the voice of not layer and this is output error page due to wrong username and password. Okay, so now Okay. save it and if I go to the role you can see if I particularly check this role you can see there are different images so what I will do is I will just close this and I will exit from my PC screen and now here I will be able to see whatever I have captured in the role you can see different code has been captured, images have been captured and uh, even the output has been captured along with the comments. So that's it how to make the use of your particular PC, connect a PC to the smart board, share the code with the students or share whatever you want to share your content with the students, annotate onto it and make a big role and then use it as a content. Thank you. Thanks for today.